I uh, followed my buddy Luke uh, to, to shoot a car that he had, and uh, I saw this car, and I couldn't stop, and then Luke asked me, he said, do you think you want to shoot this car down here? It's real rare. And uh, I was like, are you kidding me? I don't know what this is, but uh, Lloyd, tell me what you got here. Uh, it's a 47 Buick Super Convertible. Is it all stock? No, it's uh, got a 468 big block Chevrolet, turbo 350, got a Camaro subframe, a 9-inch Ford in it, rear end house, under 9-inch Ford, got Cadillac seats, custom interior, stereo, we drive it all the time. How long have you had the car? Uh, I've had it about 12 years. I've, I worked on about 10 years to get it finished. You I'll did most of the work yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, it sure turned out yeah. nice. What's the uh, inspiration behind it? Something you always wanted or a hot rod? I just fooled a lot of old cars. I used to have a Mercury convertible, sold it, and I saw a Buick, and I sold that Bill one of them. I got I you. I just fooled with old cars all my life. I got you. Well, let's get up here and take a look at it. Now, you say this hood will open the other way, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. open now, both ways. now, that's stock, folks. Yeah. Yeah, he said that's original yeah, you just equipment. Put the, the prop on back down on this side and leg back, go back and raise the other handle and fold back over the other way. And then it hooks in over here. Yeah. And then it hooks in these things yeah. down here. Two on both sides. Cool. And what motor did you say it had in it? Uh, big block Chevrolet, 468 cubic inches. How much horsepower? That was a 454. How much horsepower do you think you're getting out of it? I don't know, 4500. It's better yeah. look at it, I guess. General, right? Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, it's another I got you. Let's take a look at this. You say this interior is out of a Cadillac. Seats are. The front seats are all in custom. What year? Uh, about 73, I think. I got you. Back when they used to make them float, right? Yeah. You replaced all the gauges and all? Uh huh. All custom. All custom. Man. Who did the interior work? Western Mutual. Automatic cruise, tilt. Just got all that on it. Big old back seat. That'd get you in trouble. And this big blue bottle. Yeah, I, I asked if it was nitrous. You said no, it's not nitrous. No, it's a base bottle for the stereo system. <laughs> so you've got a rocking system in here yeah. too. Cool. I like them chrome plated amps. Nice. Look at this, I like this right here. That is a good looking car. Big, but still a good looking car. I mean, man, just get out and float in this thing. Of course, it's all been modernized. See how he's got the power top in it down there, mounted gauges. It's got the seats right there. That's to activate the seats, cup holders. Man, that's a good looking car, brother. Thank you. Love See, work. How long did it take you? I worked on 10 years, I don't know. No kidding. Hardest car I worked on in my life. Got so many adjustments on it. How, how'd you stay focused for 10 years? Just desire? Just, yeah, you just have to quit and do something else for a little while. I got you. Yeah. Keep working on them every day. How many times did you think about quitting? Never have. Never have. I've done it all my life. You got any other hot rods? Yeah, I got a this 48 Mercury and it's Stag, and I got a 55 Chevrolet. What is that? Huh? I might have to ask you about that. And that Mercury's yours too. Yeah, I've had it about 37 years. I didn't know they came with sunroofs back then. I did not put it in there. I have a Lincoln. <laughs> it's got a Lincoln interior Lincoln. Well, let me go so we can figure out what okay. else you got, brother. I sure appreciate All right. it. See you Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.